Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Friday, June 1st, 2012. I'm Darren McBreen, and here's a quick look at what we have lined up for you this evening. Tonight on the InfoWars Nightly News, the protest rages on as Bilderberg 2012 attendees roll in. Bilderberg investigator Jim Tucker exposes the plot to assassinate Ron Paul. Plus, the Daily Caller gets owned by Alex Jones. Then, the dinosaur media nears extinction by a meteoric new media based in delivering non-corporatized truth. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. All that and more coming up during the next 30 minutes or so. But first, let's jump right into our top headlines as we have a report from longtime Bilderberg investigator Jim Tucker as he shares some shocking information with Alex Jones about an exchange that took place after Bilderberg attendees arrived yesterday morning. They are basically driving through crowds of hundreds of Ron Paul supporters and Bilderberg members were overheard actually discussing the assassination of Ron Paul, if you can believe that. Here's Jim Tucker. Jim Tucker, your source gave you some amazing information uh, concerning Ron Paul and his supporters directly from the Bilderberg group in the lobby shooting their mouths off. What did they say? They said some very harsh things, obviously, about Ron Paul because uh, he's our leading patriot in Congress who stopped the Law of the Sea Treaty ratification which is dear to their bloody hearts. So, uh, well, uh, the harshest comment made was by a guy who said he'd like to uh, get Ron Paul and all of his supporters on a, one airplane with a Muslim suicide pilot and uh, take them down. That was the harshest comment made, but there were a lot of mean-spirited comments made uh, as the Bilderberg boys gathered in the lobby of the hotel. So they're very upset about just the liberty movement in general. Yes, they are. They're outraged, they're angry, and they're, they're very depressed about the whole liberty. Uh, uh, they don't, they're very upset with all these patriotic Americans resisting their uh, program and the fact that the Americans are so successful at it because the, uh, the program uh, planned by Bilderberg has been set back for years, and every year it gets worse, and every year they get more depressed, and every year they get more outraged. So we're winning, they're losing. AmericanFreePress.net, uh, you got big reports coming out there. Jim, uh, we're going to debrief each other tonight. Sorry I didn't get over here last night. There were arrests and stuff, and I had to stay up, up there until 9.30 or past, and then had a bunch of other equipment crises. and had to go find a Walmart and find some equipment. Uh, but... Um, any other tidbits that your sources are giving you from inside? Are they more distraught than last year? They get more distraught every year. All right, Jim Tucker, thank you very much. You're welcome. And this is not the first time that Bilderberg members have threatened Ron Paul. As you may recall, it was back in 2007 that it was revealed to us that U.S. intelligence was considering assassinating him to derail the Ron Paul revolution. And as you know, they are more than capable of, uh, you know, doing assassinations. And so we must all please pray for Ron Paul and his safety.